Hi, I'm Monica. That's me, way on the left. I was born and raised in a small town called Putnam, Connecticut. My parents moved to the United States from Laos in the 1980s. My parents learned English as their second language, their native tongue being Laotian. Growing up as a bilingual speaker, I had an unexplainable curiosity with language structure and differences, so when I got older, I took that fascination and decided to make it my life's work. Two years ago, I packed my bags and set off to study speech-language pathology and linguistics at the University of Massachusetts Amherst. Now, I'm taking my love of all things speech and language related and combining it with the knowledge that I've gained from this educational psychology course in order to help my friend Kira learn how to whistle. Hi, my name is Kira Travers. I'm a junior at UMass, um, and I'm a public health major with a minor in psychology, and I can't. My basic teaching plan consists of three main ed psych concepts, assessment, scaffolding, and observational learning. A preliminary assessment is necessary in order to determine the student's strengths and weaknesses within the context of the task at hand. In speech language pathology, we use multiple standardized tests in order to assess articulatory capabilities of individuals. For Kira, I am using an observational checklist to first determine if her inability to whistle is being caused by an organic disorder in her speech-related body parts. This will also allow me to gauge her cognitive capabilities and motivation so that I can provide her appropriate levels of instruction later. I have chosen several phrases of target words which contain speech sounds that have similar place, voice, and manner production as those necessary for whistling, and I record whether or not she is successful in producing those target sounds. The label was torn. He hurt his rib. Tony is nice. Can you say tuh and repeat it three times? Tuh, tuh, tuh. Yep. And duh, 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 duh. Ka, ka, ka. All right, now I'm going to give you a sequence of sounds and you're going to do the same thing, just repeat it, um, but only one time. So it's going to be pataka, pataka. Mm -hmm. Now, two more times. Pataka, pataka. Uh huh. All right, good. Thank you. Oh. Very good. Now, I'm just going to familiarize you with all the parts of the mouth that are going to be used when we whistle. Okay. Okay? So, <clears throat> this is a diagram right here mm -hmm. of all the speech sounds. So, let me just show this to the camera. This is what Kira is seeing right now. And this is pretty much what... I would look like if you were looking at me from here and I was cut in half this way. Okay. So this is what my mouth looks like from this way. Okay. Um, so what we're really going to be focusing on is the use of your lips, your tongue, your teeth, and air. All right. Now, um, I mentioned the teeth and here in the diagram it shows that it looks like you're going to be using the like these parts yeah. of your teeth, but that's not really what's going to be involved here. It is going to be your teeth, but just not those ones that it looks like. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the tips, the edges of your tongue. So just stick out your tongue for me. Ah. Uh, uh-huh. Uh. <laughs> you're going to be using <laughs> the side edges of your tongue. So those ones. Okay. Uh-huh. Right here. So what you want to do is you want to take those edges of your tongue and push them up to the insides of your molars. Okay. Right where mm -hmm. your teeth meet your gums. Okay. Okay, you feel that? Mm hmm Okay, now stick your tongue out me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> can you, can you um, fold your tongue? Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, very good. All right, so now, do you <laughs> put your tongue <laughs> with the edges back onto the where the molars meet? Mm -hmm. Got it. Mm-hmm. And now um, take your tongue, the tip of your tongue right here, mm -hmm. 
and try to bring it up towards um, the roof of your mouth. It's there. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, um, as you do that, you can fi- kind of feel your tongue naturally curl, mm-hmm. like it would, like mm-hmm. this. Mm-hmm. So, what you're going to do is just put the tongue where it would be to meet um, the edges of where your gums meet your teeth. Okay. Roll it slightly. Mm-hmm. And just blow. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Don't worry about this. Just work on blowing it through that ear shape. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Good. So, (laughs) you can hear, like, a very Mm. slight sound. Something Mm -hmm. is coming out of there. So, now, um, we're going to work on this part, your, your, your lips. Okay. Say, wah for me. Wah. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. All right. Now, take your index finger and put it right here. Now, do it again. Wah. 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 Yeah, just the very, very tip of it. Wah, wah, wah. Mm-hmm. You feel that when you when you make that noise, there's still a very, very small hole. Mm-hmm. In it. So when you say wah, you can still see that little O oh, right there. Mm-hmm. That's going to be where our air is going to be coming through. So you're going to want to pretend like you're saying wah, but freeze it right at the end of it. So wah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you got your woo. Woo. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So now, can I see that two more times? Woo. Mm-hmm. Woo. Very good. <laughs> yep. Very good. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Now, we're going to try to put it all together. Okay. All right. If it doesn't work the first time, that's perfectly fine. We can okay. keep practicing. Okay. So first, we're going to think about our tongue. Mm-hmm. Up to where the gums meet the teeth. Mm-hmm. Here. Um, now... Try to bring the tongue tip up slightly, but you don't want it to touch the roof of your mouth. Okay. And wah. 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 Yep. Okay. Now hold the wah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. And just keep keep that position. So we're just going to hold it. Ooh. Now we're going to try try with the breath stream, okay? So okay. take a deep breath. Very good. <laughs> Very good. So what I see right now is that um, right here, where you're, where you have the wa, is a little bit too flat. Okay. So, um, what you have is this right here. Mm-hmm. I'll show the camera too. And what you need is this. Okay. So, right now, we can see that Kira, the shape of her mouth is a little bit too flat here and we need it to approximate towards each other in the middle and create a more central ah! oh <laughs> that the, the camera wasn't even on you <laughs> made a noise <laughs> okay I'm so proud of you that was so good <laughs> no, keep, keep working let's, let's see it one more time yeah, I did it it's, it's there I hear it Okay, yep, yeah, now now here we, I, I hear that it's like very close to being the, where it should be. So now um, what helps me when I, when I do this is that I move my tongue back and forth. Okay. And that sometimes like when the air is going through it, it finds where it should be. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. My name is Kira Travers and I know how to whistle. (laughs)